Hello. So in this video we'll be we'll be moving the player object using the nav mesh agents. So let's get started with that. First let's uh add three components to your uh, your object, a rigid body, a nav mesh agent, nav mesh agent and a uh, box collider. You sure don't need the box collider right now, but uh, I'm detecting collision between the enemies. Now let's create the uh, script and let's also check the walkable path so you can just click on any game object in your world and navigation error should say walkable or not walkable depending on if you want the uh, player to walk there then just click big. So I want to move in this street right here, click on the game object go to the navigation tab object and walkable if you if you don't see the navigation tab go to window AI navigation and I'll bring that tab up okay. So on your player script, we want to make a reference to the uh, nav mesh agent. So let's create the air bill for that. A the camera, and we get serialized this. And let's make a float variable for the max distance. And give it a value of one, a value of a uh, one hundred. <clears throat> okay. Now let's try to check for uh, any type of input. I'm going to be checking for the input on the left uh, mouse click, so let's make an if statement. Okay, now let's create a array variable. So what this will do is uh, once the uh, it detects that you click the left click, it will uh, create a array from the camera to the mouse's position. Now let's create another if statement. So we could use the raycast. Now we call the ray. Let's create a raycast uh, variable. Raycast hit variable, so, oh, so we don't uh, include that right there to make it a little uh, cleaner. And the max distance, well, how far you want the player to walk. 
Uh, right now, let's we'll just uh, print the uh, the place where you just uh, clicked on. And this will be a hint on having the uh, the player walk to that location if you want to finish that up yourself. If you see the uh, the answer, pretty much. Okay, let's go back to your game view. Now we want to uh, go to our inspector and assign the camera. Max distance right now is 100. So this is just going to print uh, wherever I click the location. So, oh, okay, you know what, let's, let's uh, fix that issue, because so I called the uh, camera component component right over here, so let's check if it was attached to this game object, so we could just keep that uh, serialized, and we're calling it right here, so this should work, hopefully. Okay, let's, let's take a look at the uh, console here. These are the uh, positions where I should be going to, but my player is still not walking since we didn't since we didn't uh, write that portion of the script yet. Okay, so let's uh, do that right now. So you're cloning the NAFMIS agent, and you could look through this yourself for a minute if you uh, think you could figure that out. Let's see what we have here. Destination could work. or even a set destination hmm. I think set destination might be easier but I've used uh, both of them before then uh, I'll give you a minute if you want to fill this out yourself since we were able to print the position here what do you think goes right there? we got the coordinates from this comment Set destination. Set destination. This is just this is just looking for a vector three, which we just printed up here. So hit that point. Okay, so now the player starts moving where we just clicked. Ooh. Sorry if that was a bit loud. So do it like this as well. Hmm. It's pretty much one of them is just a method, but uh We could adjust the maxis and see, um, so you know, 
check that out yourself. Let's see if I click right right over here. It's not gonna go anywhere. Since that that's uh, within the uh, walking the uh, walking radius, it will start uh, walking there. Okay, so that covers the uh, subject on walking on using the uh, nav mesh agent to, uh, to process uh, any type of uh, movement.